Colheres, mas tem que preparar. Okay, guys, thank you for joining and welcome back to Basa 360. Welcome back to the channel. So you are looking at stories making headlines around the club. If this interests you, kindly subscribe. So Ronald Araju wants to be a one-man club. He wants to be a one-club player at the football club. Barcelona are trying to rebuild their squad this summer, but at the very least, they have a rock-solid base upon which to build on although they might feel the need to bring in another central defender this summer it does appears that in uruguay and ronald Araujo, they have a long-term solution for at least one of those positions there were plenty of speculations surrounding his future during the negotiation for his new contract but Araujo was clear on what he wanted to do i want to try and spend my whole career here in barcelona i only think about barcelona Araujo made a comment to Todd Costa de Catalunya Radio in an interview carried by Mundo Deportivo. Araujo did, however, address the rumors that he was being pursued by Premier League clubs. There were a lot of options, but in the end, I took the decision. The people that work with me have always respected my decision, and even though there were important offers in terms of the numbers, I always wanted to stay in Barcelona. Those words will no doubt please coolers everywhere with Ronald Araujo almost confirming that he turned down many more money to stay at Barcelona, possessing a set of valuable physical attributes and combining that with an iron will to win, Araujo provides a profile that complements the typical talent pursued by the Blograna. Moving on to the next story, Barcelona youngster is not happy at all with Juan Laporte's comment about his renewal. Pablo Paez Gavi's representative Ivan de la Peña has expressed his discontent towards uh, a recent comment made by president of the football club, Mr. Juan Laporta, that were targeted towards the former for supposedly not responding to the contract offer that was put forward by the club. It has been months now since Barcelona and Pablo Paez Gavi have been negotiating fresh terms over a new deal and now that the parties involved have settled on a middle ground the deal is still taking time to be signed according to what laporta had said gavi and his agent ivan de la pena already have the offer on the table but the delay is beyond his understanding i don't understand why his agent is delaying the deal our salary proposal is more than acceptable we will not improve the offer i don't want barcelona to continue on the same path as the people before us laporta was quoted as saying if you have players coming out of the academy, we make them a very good present and future offer. And it turns out that their representatives are comparing and delaying the decision. It is understandable that I do not like the situation. I would encourage him to accept it as soon as possible because he also helps us plan, he added. Responding to the president's words, Ivan de la Pena pointed out that contrary to what has been said in the media by the president, he and his clients are waiting for the papers for almost two weeks. Adding to the debacle, journalist Fabrizio Romano says that whilst their previous meeting with Barcelona was more than positive, the agent has nothing on the table to sign on. In all, Ivan de la Pena hasn't responded to Barcelona's offer because he does not have one. As of today, it is understood that Ivan de la Pena has no intention of calling Barcelona as he believes whatever is pending is from the team's end and it is the management who should rather contact him in the first place. So guys, um, that is Ivan de la Pena, agent of Pablo Paez Gavi, responding to um, comments made by President Juan Laporta. Laporta has said that you don't know why um, these people are not coming to terms with the football club. You don't know why they are keeping weight. Um, they are keeping the club waiting and not signing the contract. And then the agent, Ivan de la Pena, is saying that for almost two weeks, for 15 days, he has been waiting for Barcelona to bring the documents for Gavi to sign the contract extension. But Barcelona has not brought them. So at this very point in time, who is telling the truth? Laporta or de la Pena? Laporta is saying that they've sent everything, they've not signed. De La Pena is also saying that they have not received anything. So what will happen? Let's just read and see. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for joining. Kindly do stay safe. Until next time, it's a bye-bye.